everyone, it's me, Dramatism. Welcome back to my channel for another episode of The Sims 2 Let's Play Strange Town Season 2. Hi, welcome back. It's been a while. Thank you all for your patience. We're back with the Strange Town series coming through where we are now with Nervous Subject in the Spectre household. Uh, with Nervous and Pascal. Pascal is dealing with a fire at the moment, but all is well because the fireman is right here. And it is all hunky dory. Oh, he's very cute too. Hello. He should be on the calendar. Um <laughs> so um yeah, Pascal was trying to make some food. Him and Nervous both have today, Monday, off of work, which is really nice. Uh, for them because really nervous is not doing too too well right now he is sitting in the rain um literally pondering what to do like this actually is a very um <laughs> a very telling uh screenshot because he has a lot on his mind poor nervous is already dealing with so much um with his ptsd and his other issues that on top of that, his cousin just passed away, Ophelia uh, Smith. And while he, him and uh, Ophelia were not terribly close, I don't think they ever really built on their relationship because it was a little awkward, first of all. Um, and Nervous is just nothing. He's, he literally has no personality because of all the experimentation done to him. And Ophelia was a little hurt and... Um, I mean, the whole Spectre family is just dramatic in and of itself, but, um, Nervous is conflicted. Conflicted and I think even more confused. He doesn't understand who he is. He knows that Olive was his mother. He found out maybe that his father could have been the Grim Reaper only from, you know, rumor happenstance and a few of the pieces of evidence of just you know what happened with his deceased mom but him and olive never actually spoke he only found out that he was uh related to her after her passing so for him he's just like he's like who am i am i even human am i even a normal sim um, and the fact that Johnny is blowing up his phone, just constantly calling him and getting him riled up, um, asking him if he can bring Ophelia back, he's like, I don't freaking know. Like, what do I do? Can I? I don't know. And so he's sitting in the rain, just working on, you know, his chest. Who just ran the frick by? It's Loki! <gasps> Get away, you! Oh my god, his face. Look at his face! Oh! This is actually terrifying. Oops. This is actually terrifying. Um, okay. Oh god, I can't believe he just ran by and Nervous was outside. Nervous, like, maybe he saw it in his peripheral, and he's a little freaked out now. He doesn't really want to be outside anymore. He's going to come, kind of run to the bedroom and just hide away, because he has a lot of thinking to do. And Pascal knows, and uh, he actually offered to Jenny and his nephew, Johnny, about throwing a small wake uh, for Ophelia here. Ophelia grew up in this household um, from the moment her parents passed away. Um, and Pascal is, of course, close with his sister. They're not terribly close, but they're still, like, really close. Um, so Pascal, um, you know, being the nice fatherly and family type of man that he is, yeah, wink at me, Pascal, I see you. Oh, ah, wink at me again! I'm sorry, that <laughs> Um, he offered to, you know, throw a small wake and party for Ophelia and you know he wants to be there for his family during the untimely and really unfortunate passing of Ophelia it's just it's so sad she's so young and you know everyone's starting to get so old Pascal is old nervous is going to be growing up in a few days as well and you know it's 
a passing is just sad in and of itself. So nervous though is is more anxious and confused and kind of um you know just going through an overall crisis uh internally as he doesn't even know what's going on um janelle brought marilina futa and she looks gorgeous look how cute janelle is though like look at this little face she's like i went to school i'm a prep school kid i feel all of this and um that's great but she brought home this literally gorgeous sim she's so so pretty and and that is kind of hard for janelle honestly honestly i remember her from my uber uh my uberhood streams i don't know what pack she's from but she's a townie but we're gonna have janelle come um get into her um outfit and i think she's gonna try and you know, get to know Marilena a little bit more. She really wants to live vicariously through her uh, a little bit. Um, I could see Marilena's, like, again, very pretty, probably into makeup, fashion, that kind of stuff. And so we can share our interests. We could talk about film and lit, like talk about the newest pop culture movies. Um, but the more Janelle's talking with Marilena, the more she's getting a little more self-conscious, like... Marilena has a beautiful, like, side profile and a nose, and Janelle has, like, no nose as she's flat alien um, face. And she's just feeling very kind of insecure. She wants to really, like, admire. Janelle is also, according to my ACR, um, she is a little bit bi, and I feel like she would develop a kind of quick crush on Marilena. Um, and the crush could be very superficial. It's just like she's very attracted to her and really, really likes. Marilena has this glow to her that Janelle just feels like she has this dark cloud of weirdness around her whole body. And she just wants to, again, be normal. She wants to be pretty. She wants to have that... She wants to have that glow around her, and she seems to have lost that crush. I guess it doesn't stay when you have a bad conversation, but um, yeah, this is this is what Janelle is going through. And Nervous is in here. Poor Nervous. He's starving. He hasn't even had a chance to eat yet because Pascal never even got the burnt waffles off the stove. Honey, can you get those, please? Because we need to start getting ready for this party that we're throwing. Um. Janelle and Sebastian are in private school, by the way, so that's why they're both home, like, earlier than normal, uh, and that's that, so, uh, he is gonna go ahead and serve up some, uh, maybe some chili con carne, it's a bit cool and rainy this spring day, so, you know, we're, uh, wanting to warm ourselves up a little bit. Sebastian is super, super cute. He's going to be aging up next part, next round, which is really exciting. Um, and Janelle here, now they're watching TV and she's just trying to get to know Marilena a bit more. Marilena seems a little, ah, oh, look at him, he's cute. It's raining. I feel it in the house. No, you don't, Sebastian. Um, Sebastian is a smarty pants, though. And so he's going to definitely do his homework right away and, you know, just be a good kid. He's got a B plus. Janelle does have an A. She has the intelligence, you know, of the things that she has. But um, she wants to, instead of doing her homework, she's kind of letting it pile up. She's just not as motivated to get her schoolwork done. Um, going through, you know, a life of a teenager where she wants like a whole bunch of friends and she honestly doesn't have any friends other than her um half sister and cousin Liara and um and her immediate family so i think ha like having her really spend some time with Marilena and um trying to become friends with her uh would be really nice Marilena i think is coming to eat some chili con carne so we're going to come over as well but uh <laughs> You can see, I didn't even have Janelle do this, but the fact that she came over and she's checking herself out in the mirror, Janelle is very, very vain. For, and vain not in a bad way, um, if you can, but I would say that 
Janelle's just hyper aware of how different she looks. And in Strange Town, I mean, everyone looks really different, but it's really difficult for her to blend in and stand out. And she's never really felt terribly beautiful. She did when she was a kid, but definitely going through puberty and all this stuff when she's, you know, sitting across someone like Marilena, she really can't help but compare herself to her and feel awful about the way she looks. And that's really sad because definitely Nervous and Pascal don't put any pressure on her to look or be a certain way. Pascal obviously loves her for who she is and what she is. I mean, Pascal, he, you know, he was abducted and the winky face um, and was blessed with Janelle and it's hard. It's hard for any parent to do that. But Pascal can kind of see that Janelle's really excited to have Marilena here and and uh, as a friend and just here for dinner in general. And so um, Pascal is also happy for her that she's making a friend. Uh, Sebastian is now going to come too. And we're going to have like a quick family dinner. Um, and then uh, we are going to go ahead and throw this party and it's going to be a formal party so that people are in like nice attire to again um, help out, uh, not help out, but <laughs> to celebrate Ophelia's life. Okay, so everyone is on their way over. Oh my god, and she was just disgusted with her own father. <laughs> What the heck was that about? Oh, we're lagging a little bit as everyone comes in, but Marilena actually wants to hang out with Janelle. And while um, I don't think Janelle knew Ophelia either, um, no, she didn't. But yeah, she is going to hang out with Marilena and kind of spend time with her as opposed to her family, which might not be best thing but everyone's coming in their um nice formal wear apparently we ordered a pizza when did i order that or is that from the party yesterday and everyone's wearing like white and like i haven't seen people in their formal wear in a really really long time but liara's here also looking uh alieny but she has a little bit more of a kind of human face um as opposed to the nose uh, except the nose <gasps> did johnny try to jump into aaron's arms what the heck was that that is so weird um so sebastian ages up tomorrow which is totally fine but look how cute liara is and or sorry liara lola lola is such a cutie pie and janelle really does want to be friends with her aunt cousin her cousin <laughs> strange town family trees very weird um so pascal's gonna come and um talk with johnny i don't know what he's trying to do i think he's trying to get to know aaron a bit more or i think he's hitting on aaron um and give his sister a hug as well uh we're not apparently very close with our nephew at all and apparently we're not even related to him i don't know why that is sometimes hey sometimes my game is just weird um i have to come into family johnny smith set as my i don't know where the family ties are i'll fix it later but anyways we're related that's all that matters And Seb well, Sebastian, what are you doing, honey? Oh, can you come join the TV? Get into all that. And, like, Liara's trying to talk to Janelle, and Janelle's just flat out kind of ignoring her. Like, I'm hanging out with Marilena now, um, working on that friendship, and they are friends now, so that's really cool. But Marilena says, oh, I have to go now, so we'll go ahead and say goodbye to her. Um, say it was really great. See you at school tomorrow, and that's, like, you know, hunky dory. Nervous is just taking a bubble bath. Rip and Aaron are over here playing freaking red hand or rock, paper, scissors. It's cute. 
Um, Vidkin seems to be a little more relaxed today, which is nice because, you know, there's kind of stuff going on. Um, but Nervous is, I feel like he's hiding from, uh, Johnny. It looks like he's trying to actually go for a quick romp in the sack with Pascal. Oh no, he was just relaxing in his bed. He actually was hiding in his bedroom away from Johnny, potentially. Because I think Johnny is looking to, you know, ask Nervous again about what is possible. Can he, can he bring Ophelia back from the dead? Because Everyone's really sad by Ophelia's death, and I feel that definitely. And now Pascal's coming over, and they're going to have a little romp in the sack during this party. That's appropriate. Um, meanwhile, though, I'm going to have Janelle answer the phone. Thank you, honey. Uh, and it's looking for Sebastian to talk. Uh, and in the meantime, I will have Janelle chat with Lola. Again, we want to be friends with Lola. We really, really, again, appreciate Lola and, you know, want to be friends with her. Apparently, we find her a little bit attractive. And again, she is supposed to be our cousin. Oh no, Lola's not our cousin. She's a different alien. <laughs> a different alien in pregnancy. Um, so we're not related, but again, we are both green skinned. So it's really nice of her. Um, and she's like, You're so beautiful. And how do you fit in? And can you, like, I, I feel so. Uh, and Lola, you know, appreciates that. And she's like, You know what? You can call me any time. Um, and maybe we'll introduce her to Liara, too, so that we can both, you know, we can all talk and just be all uh, chatty at the same time. There they go, romping around. Okay, cool, they finished. <laughs> um, but this is nice, again, just having the family reunions. I really do love in The Sims 2, just um, going off. But, um, yeah, Janelle's the only one not in this. I <laughs> Even though this is supposed to be awake, I feel like no one's really, um... Oh my god, has Vidkin gone insane? Vidkin went insane! I thought he was a little too calm for any of this. Oh my goodness gracious. Is he okay? He is not okay. He is not okay. Oh god. Vidkin, you poor thing, baby. Oh gosh, I'm in the wall. Oh god, I'm in all the walls. What happened? Oh, I was in the bathtub. <laughs> That's awkward. Uh, and yeah, and Janelle, again, I mentioned this in the first round, but Janelle is considering plastic surgery. And that's something that's pretty expensive, though we do have money. The question is, can Janelle convince her father to give her the money for plastic surgery and so she's gonna come over she's gonna chat with him um share her interests and stuff and kind of pose the question to him um of of you know her getting uh anything and he's already like what are you talking about? You're perfect the way you are. Why would you want to change yourself at all? Like, you're beautiful. And Janelle is... <sighs> she knew this was going to be his... His answer. Um, and she's a little... Um, she's obviously sad. We just got kicked out of the room. So let me see if I can follow them. Oh! Now she's just standing here like confused unsure of what to do because pascal pretty much said pretty much said no so we gotta kind of wait and see if there's another way that we can get the money maybe janelle needs to sell some things or see if she can find the money on her own terms but everyone is pretty much leaving um it was a really nice wake jenny told pascal how appreciative she was of him throwing this for the family and nervous had spent most of the time in the bathtub or in the in the bedroom 
so he didn't have a chance to snag some pizza. Luckily, there was one slice left for him, so he can nom it and have a great, a great time. He just looks so sad all the time. My poor nervous. My poor nervous baby. And yeah, we're all asleep and having a lovely wrap up night. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of skip until morning and I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys then. Okay, so we were heading to a bed, but Nervous was walking through here and all of a sudden this random glowing phone appeared in the pantry and Nervous is like, what the heck is going on? <laughs> I saw him like glitch out for a second. Um, and clicking on it, he can call the Grim Reaper. What the heck? <gasps> and Nervous is, is staring at this and he's thinking, he's thinking about Pascal. He's like, I just wanted to go to bed, but he sees that he can call the Grim Reaper. So he's gonna he picks up the phone despite his Oh my god, and it's making such creepy noises. Oh my gosh. He can call and he can resurrect anybody. <gasps> and here's Ophelia. There's also Olive. There's all these Sims that were dead. I see Buck up there. Um, I see PT9. Um, Rigor Mortis is here. Willow. Ichabod. Is Lysa here too? Or oh, Lila's here? <gasps> Nervous doesn't know what to do. He's going to cancel right now, but he has this here and he, he doesn't know what to do. And I think he's going to um, come over and wake up Pascal. Um, and he's cleaning up right now, but he's going to come over and he's going to... Um, talk to him and and like look like you won't believe what i found there's like there's so much like uh, uh, he's not even making sense he's like dude you're speaking in formulas man you need to tell me what's going on he's like this isn't a root beer float day and he's like no we need you need to come into the pantry um right now so uh pascal follows him into the pantry and Nervous is like, I don't know if I'm like too tired and I'm seeing things, but are you seeing what I'm seeing? And Pascal sees it too, and he's also surprised. And Nervous just runs back to the bedroom and is like, I'm going to bed. I cannot deal with this. Um, and Pascal is beside himself, like, what is happening? I don't know. And he doesn't know. He doesn't know what to think. And Nervous just went to sleep. Pascal's like, we should probably talk about this. Like, Nervous, what the hell is going on? Because while well, Pascal knows that Nervous was experimented on and everything, he doesn't know the full extent of Nervous's background. And it kind of worries him that, like, this phone connected to death just appeared in their house. They live in a haunted manor where all the gravestones mysteriously disappeared. <laughs> um and yeah it's a lot um i was gonna move on to tomorrow but i think this is kind of a good spot to end so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this part here if you guys are enjoying this series want to see more do give this video a fat thumbs up subscribe for more content i put out my videos when i can when i do i try um let me know your thoughts and comments down below do you think nervous is going to use the Grim reaper phone to bring people back from the dead who will he bring back ophelia will he bring back olive will he bring back someone else or anyone else who do you think um and do you think janelle will go through with um plastic surgery do you think she can convince pascal to get it done for her or will she fight will she embrace her alien heritage and appearance and just roll with it um who knows but <sighs> there's a lot going on i love you guys so 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 very much and i will see you in one of my next videos bye guys i don't know what you want let's have a bit of fun till i down Don't say